I'm very interested in what the mind does, so how people think. My overarching question is attention and how that is represented in the brain, whether we can kind of read that out in real time. It really is who we are. What we attend to is who we are. I'm Dr. Aaron Griffiths and I'm a senior lecturer in psychology. I was pretty sure I was going to study the mind from teenage years. I worked as a therapist for a while. I was out of research and it dragged me back in for a reason that I think everyone should consider and that is just a burning curiosity. My job is discovery. I get to discover truth for a living. I just didn't find that in other careers. One of the projects we're looking at is um, in this world of augmented reality. You're a soldier, um, you're walking in a field and uh, there's an adversary across the field. They might get a red square put on them. In what ways does it help and in what ways does it, does it hurt? Maybe there's a whole lot of that scene that might be important that you need to know about that might just completely get missed. We are getting pretty good at figuring out what you're paying attention to at any given moment. And one of the things that we can do with that information, if we can process it fast enough, is we can tell you, you're not paying attention to this, you're paying attention this. One of the potential applications of that is just to speed up training. If you're a, a sonar operator and you're trying to figure out whether there's a ship on your screen or not, some of the information is relevant, some of that information is irrelevant. And if we can tell you that you're looking at the irrelevant stuff and redirect you back to the important stuff, then you know, you're going to learn faster, you're going to be a better operator. When I'm looking at a student, what I care about is do you work well in a team? Are you willing to work hard at things that interest you? And do you have a driving curiosity about the mind? If you've got all those things, the rest will follow.